Hi, right, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a momentary on-off switch or kill switch for a 12 volt system and in this case it will be for a trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the parts that come in the kit. You have the cutoff switch, you have your electronic switch with your wireless remote, and then you also have your instructions and wiring diagram. Now on this, although it explains how to set up the remote switch, mine came already done, but it's not very explanatory in the information. So basically what it is, is you have your little sending unit here on the side, which is the same thing as you would have in a garage door opener. And you need to follow the instructions to pair it to your remote. It's pretty simple, but it doesn't explain where to find that switch. This is my test setup for this project. Here you have your water witch and you have the negative connection to your load or in this case your trolling motor. And then you also have your other negative connection that goes to the negative of the battery. Then over on this side, and they're marked plus and minus, you have your positive and negative input over here in positions 3 and 4 for the output of this switch, which is going to feed the water witch. Then in positions 1 and 2, you have your positive and negative input to the switch, which is fed here at the positive and negative of the battery. Then you also have over here your positive connection to your load or your trolling motor. And then, of course, you have your switch, and you'll be able to hear how loud this connection is when it opens up. So this is the on position, and this is your off. So I have it connected right now to a trolling motor, but I wanted to show you a close-up of the setup before I did it. Okay, so I'm going to test out this system right now. Everything is hooked up as I had shown you before. And to the right, you'll see the trolling motor. And in the lower right portion of the screen, you're going to see the prop. And what I will do is turn it off and on using this key fob. And there you go. And that's how it can work as a momentary switch. Instead of like the foot pedal kind of momentary switches, you can just use this to turn it off and on as you want. And then you also have the option of using it as the kill switch. Where you're rolling and if you fall off, just go ahead and hit the unlock and it'll turn itself off. And I tested this distance up to 150 feet in a straight line and the remote still worked. Okay, so right here I have my full load testing. I have my water tank, which is the yellow bucket, and I have the 30 pound motor guide trolling motor set in there. And the reason I want to test this is because this will give me a better idea of the amps being drawn by the trolling motor under a full load, in other words, being in water, along with the amps drawn by the relay switch itself, just to make sure everything is going to work out all right. So I have my little fob here and I'm going to start the test. So far so good. And so what I'm going to do then is hook up this which will read the amps put out in DC current. And I will take readings of those and show you what the values are. Okay, so this is my first reading of the trolling motor, and right now it's pulling about 6 amps. So I'm going to go check the switch and see what that is pulling. And we go over here, and we're pulling about 0.6 amps. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to increase the amperage pulled by the motor so 
it's reading about 14 and a half amps. Let's go check the switch. And the switch is still reading 0.6. So this is going to be safe. In other words, the amps pulled by this switch are going to remain constant as compared to the amps pulled by this trolling motor. So everything should work out just fine. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.